Hey guys, this is Brian Buffington from Pioneer Risa. And wow, I've been talking a lot about virtual reality here lately. And this is a piece of cardboard called Google Cardboard. And they've been doing these things called expeditions, but only for Android devices. And so I know a lot of our schools, at least here in Northeast Georgia, have tons of Apple devices. Um, but good news is that Google just made the iOS app available just yesterday, which today is the 21st. That, that would have been yesterday, the 20th so um, of September. So I want to show you how it works. It's pretty awesome. All right, so um, cardboard helps. But did you know that even if you don't have small enough devices for kids to do this, we can, um, we can still just use a, an iPad, and they can still get a lot of value out of the app. And out of um, and out of this this app called Expeditions, but this is the coolest way. All right, so we do have to um, if we can get get enough of these for a class set, uh, and get the small devices like iPod Touches or Android devices, that's the best. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So on the left, you can see my see that little ear thing I did there. It's like you know, it's like I'm bidding for something. But on the left, you can see my iPad, and I've got it pulled up. So that's the teacher device. So I'm the teacher. I'm going to lead an expedition. Ooh, I'm going to lead. But on the left is the student device, which is really just my phone. But that could be that could be an iPad as well. Uh, I just want you to know that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up on the teacher iPad, Expeditions. And it says you are connected to the Risa Wi-Fi. That's where I work. And it's looking for explorers. I need people to go on an expedition with me. So, But let's find some stuff first. So let's find something to go on. Um, I, ooh, I think I found one earlier. Now there's a search button at the top. You can scroll through here and look at all the thumbnails, and there's lots of cool stuff. And I hope that the next update will have a better curated um, curated list of an organization of, of these different things I want to go, different places I want to go. Um, but right now, it's, there's a search at the top right. There's a magnifying glass. If I touch that, I'm going to type in mountain. Oh, I'll type, type in Everest because I've always wanted to go to Everest. But I heard it's dangerous. There it is. And you can see I've already downloaded it. There's a little check mark on this, and it says there's six scenes. Um, and then there's, I guess there, there's a town there. It says the Kumbu Society. I probably pronounced that wrong, so please forgive me. But I can get on that as well if I wanted. But I'm just going to do Mount Everest. I'm going to open it up. But I don't have any students yet. All right. So on the student device, all right, all right kids, y'all get on your devices. I'm going to open it up on Expeditions on the bottom right. And this app is free. And they have to accept the user guidelines. It says it's only for users older than seven. Uh, they should not use it without adult supervision. So I hit accept. And it automatically recognizes a teacher on the same network. So it automatically recognized that Brian Buffington was about to do an expedition or is doing an expedition because I'm live. You'll see that over here, live. Um, and I can join. So the student can join. So, well, Mr. Buffington has the greatest expedition, so I'm going to join. So here I go, join. And it wants me to put it in the cardboard, which I have some, but just for the sake of showing you how this works, I'm not going to put it in the cardboard because you, that's, that's a pretty simple step. So I have the phone. I'm going to flip it around. And it says it's waiting for the teacher, just magically like that. And it has the two eyeballs ready for Google Cardboard. But you know what? Not all of you have Google Cardboard. You don't all have small enough devices like iPod Touches or Android phones to use for this. So there's a little button at the top right that I can just make this full screen. So I'm going to make it full screen. Now I can just see it like a standard iPad or iPod Touch. It's, there's no there's no eyes in there. So this is for people who do not have cardboard. So they're waiting for the teacher. You know, the teacher, now it's my turn, my time to shine. I'm going to hit the play sign on Basecamp. Let's go check out Basecamp. Play sign. And now look, now the student can look around and the teacher can actually read and has questions about Mount Everest. And they, I don't know if y'all see this. This is crazy. I don't even know how they do this. But there is a smiley face right here floating around. It lets the teacher know that the student is looking that direction, or there are students looking all over the place. But you know what? This can get this can get kind of crazy. So the teacher needs to bring attention to certain things. So look at this. On the I'm going to put this down for a second. Put it down. There we go. 
don't want to make anybody sick. On the iPad app for teachers, look, I can actually bring attention to certain things like the wind horses. You can't miss the colorful cloth, cloth flags called wind horses, and they, they meant to promote peace and compassion. If the teacher touches this, it actually puts an arrow on the student's devices and makes them want to go that direction. And it guides them to something they need to look at, almost like a tour guide. So here we go. I'm going to touch wind horses on the teacher iPad. Now look at the student device. I don't know if you all see that. There's an arrow now on the student device right here on the right. And it's saying, Brian, you need to go to the right. So I'm a kid, and let's pretend I have it in the cardboard. And I'm like, ooh, look at this. Now look around. I'll keep looking. <gasps> there it is. Those are the wind horses. All right. And the teacher's talking about this. And they're giving this guide, this, this tour. And the teacher says, well, we need to look at disasters. So now the teacher can go down on her iPad. Disaster. <gasps> and now the student looks up. Follows the arrow. Remember, don't forget we have the arrows to help guide students. And there it is. There was a disaster there. Between six, 600 and 700 people attempt the climate most years. And we can keep going through this. And this is just the beginning. This is a great way to really visualize real places instead of just looking at a picture in a book. All right, I'll put that down for making anybody sick. But I can't wait until I can actually curate my own material from 360 cameras. That's the future. That's, we're going to be able to make our own um, like we do in Google Street View. And I really hope you guys have a blast with this. We can get started now, even if you don't have a bunch of cardboard. We can just go, if you have a bunch of iPads, get the app and play. I'm not sure what year iPads, the minimum requirement is, but I was just on an iPhone 5S, which is about uh, two, to three, uh, two to three years old. So I think the iPad 2s, they, they may work. A lot of schools have iPad 2s. So there it is. There is Google Expeditions. I hope you have a blast. Go have some fun and go show children wonderful things. Last thing, picture this. We need virtual reality rooms. Those computer labs that you have, virtual reality rooms, because all the computers are going to be gone. Kids walk in. We have awesome sound systems. Like if I'm on Mount Everest, you know what I want to hear? I want to hear wind in this room. And if it's Mount Everest, you know, what, you know what I want the AC kicked on? I want it cold. The kids are going to bring in jackets. I mean, like those big ones, right? Whatever they got, you know, we're going to make that room freezing and the kids are going to be uncomfortable. And they're like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. But they're going to look around and they're going to feel like they're in Mount Everest. And we're capturing all the senses and we're doing big time, big time learning, like big, big time. All the senses are, are being treated. And you um, think about that. It's coming. Are you ready? Enjoy. Try something new today. Bye.